All right, we're doing this. Today's a sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Or cheerleading. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cheerleading. Cheerleaders. There's something of a crowd around our cheerleaders. I see Sakia and a brass band. Well, that's overdoing it. I think I saw something similar during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. Oh. You're here. You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from the bell. Uh... Sir, preparations are complete, sir! Your orders, sir. <laughs> <laughs> very, very well. Begin. Hog! <laughs> and so the band began to play. Where did he get these people? They all look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? You! Join in! Uh, okay! I seem to be in charge of the symbols. One wrong slip, and I'll be the laughing stock of the playground. Yikes. Saki is conducting is awfully flashy. Is this the LaBelle style? So we're not actually cheerleading. We're just a band. Watching, like, watching them do it. <laughs> kind of. I don't know, I guess. The first barrier for all, all students <laughs> who make it this far is the midterm exam. Oh, we're going to fail this. We're getting them back today. I didn't, don't think I did too well. Uh, <laughs> Ushemi. Uh, yes! Hmm. I don't think you did too badly. Yeah? Not too... Mm, nope, sorry, you did badly. Oh, no. <laughs> Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. We'll have to study more from now on. Is that from us not ever going to math class? Probably, yeah. Oof. Yeah. So we'll have to do at least one math class. With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but the summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? Uh, there's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, but there's Yuya. Yuya, what's going on? Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> <clears throat> Salutation, Steve. Brian won a seven bullets. He gestures at the news clipping on the staff room pin board. It says, Brian, the first intelligent pigeon crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. <laughs> he... <laughs> He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. Okay. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidgey Olympics. Pidgey Olympics. Pidgeys. Genius. He's, yep. he's utterly a genius. <laughs> he's, <extre> he's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monami? Or Monami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. Oh, so we have Google. That's a thing. All right. Oh, really? Brian Pigeon. You know what? I'm going to Google it. Let's see what happens. Bri wait. Wait, we... Oh, we Google it like an actual Google. Well, I'm... I'm going to do it. You know... Brian Pigeon. The original blogger and tweet... Uh, Twittering Pigeon. Who's been telling it how it is for pigeons everywhere since 2006. Okay, so it's just somebody who made this, like, Twitter account for him. Um, he was on WordPress originally, and he joined Twitter in 2009. His last post was in 2018. Maybe he's dead. <laughs> I mean, he is a pigeon, <laughs> What's a pigeon's all. lifespan? I don't know. Pigeon lifespan. 15 years. Damn, that's a lot longer than I thought. Well, it would probably mean that he's gone now. Because if he only started in Rest 2006. In yeah, rip, rip Brian the Pigeon. Okay. 
<laughs> Thanks. Uh, bye. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> Just okay. making it super awkward. Uh, uh oh. Um. Hmm. Lunch is almost over. Later. <laughs> a a do, Steve. A do. I better hurry back to class. Hello, everybody. Huh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryota is overturned next to them. Rock doves, underwings, and bellies are light. So they look pretty different upside down. I mean, wait, what's going on? Uh, Oko-san and Sakuya are... <clears throat> oh, God. I look up to see the two of them at each other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened, Ryota? Sakuya was making fun of Oko-san. <clears throat> what, what, what? That's, that's me. That's, that's, oh, that's, you're making the struggling sounds in the back. No, the like the I'm Ry I'm Ryota. Remember, I'm I I do what? I do I do Ryota. Remember? Oh shit! Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot already. <laughs> it's been a while since we've <laughs> done him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that could also be determined as him struggling in the background, dying right now. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you go, you, you <clears> go <throat> ahead. You read now. You're good. Sakuya was making fun of Okos. You should have just said something. I'm so used to voicing him. <laughs> Next time, just be like, dude. <laughs> yeah, don't just do that. That doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> Am I supposed to get anything from that? For you, kid, you, were, you probably were so confused. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure what you were doing. I thought for sure you were doing like weird struggling noises in the background. <laughs> Okay, he's into character, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're, we're good. We got this. Go ahead. <laughs> he called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding and said he was ashamed to be in the same class. Wow. Well, that's terrible. I mean, Okusan is a nutcase, and I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. Either way, Okusan kind of went to for the jugular in. Oh. You tried to pull them apart, and Okusan used a wing attack on you. Y yup. Your only hope now, Steve. <laughs> cool, cool. Okosan will not allow pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me, take back my word. I shall not. A mongrel like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. Cool. Okosan is not a mongrel. The battle still rages, and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should. Poor, poor Okosan. Just bap them both over the head. So what are we doing? Hmm. You think he's gonna think that we're like a, a suck up if we just like? No, he wants that. You know what his personality's been like. Yeah, so I guess we're just siding with him. Then. Yeah, I feel bad because I mean, you know. Oh seven, you're putting your. I mean, maybe you shouldn't be stepping in your pudding in the first place, though. Let's, I mean, let's be real. Yeah, you know, you had squished pudding all over your feet. Like, come on, it's, it's a mm -hmm. whole thing. Yeah, kind of weird, man. Okasan, settle down. This is a classroom. Cool. This is a matter between doves. Stay out of it, Steve. You are a credit to your simian ancestor, Buscemi. <laughs> I respect <laughs> your judgment. I love how he just pauses. Buscemi. Buscemi. Mm, Buscemi. <laughs> cool. I catch Okosan and throw him out the window. Oh my... Oh my god! I'm just picturing her, like, grabbing the bird and then doing that, like, bend over backwards maneuver, but, like, out the window. Is it- is it's- I feel like it's bad, though, because in my mind, like, I see them as, like, human-sized birds, you know what I- like? So, like, I just imagine her, like, actually just throwing an actual, like, like, being out the window. Yeah, see, I don't know if they're human-sized and we're just really tiny, or if they're regular-sized birds and we're just giants. 
I think that they're we're all just normal sized, like relative to what we like would be, but it's just like what I see in my head. No, I mean it makes sense. They make the everything look huge because again, it's a school for birds. But like, how would we fit in the door otherwise? Oh yeah, true. But I mean, yeah, she could have right. literally just grabbed this pigeon and tossed him out the window. I'm <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you're angry doesn't mean that you can make a mess. Come back when you've prepared to be civilized. Hm. Hmm, today's a good day. I feel Math. like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Oh. Yeah, not not class. Hmm. We can go to the store, the infirmary, or the cafeteria. Who would be at the store? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, Oko-san could be there trying to buy pudding. Could be Yuya Maybe. for all we know, or one of the characters that we don't see very often. Could be. Thinking, I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking store. Yeah? All right, store it is. Yeah. Store it is. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. <clears throat> I've never really looked around there before. Wow, they've got all sorts of things for sale. Though these nest building materials, they look like what you'd find in a human store's trash. 